Kayak DIY here and in this video we're going to review the Body Glove inflatable paddle board. It just arrived in the mail and let's open it up. Upon opening the box we have a bag and we have a paddle. So here's inside the bag. We have a leash, we have the board itself, we have our pump with the tubing, we have a repair kit and then we have the paddle which is a three-piece paddle. To prepare the board for the water, we need to unravel it, like shown. Attach the yellow hose to the pump. At this point, we unscrew the air valve cap on the board. Notice that the pin is in the inflation position, which makes it higher. It sticks up. If it's pushed down, that means air is going to flow out of the board. We attach the hose by simply pushing it in and turning it clockwise. The pump has single action and dual action pumping. Dual action number two will pump the board up faster but takes more effort. I'm going to use dual action. So now we're ready to start pumping up the board. I started off in the dual action pumping setting with the yellow selector switch on the number two. This is recommended in the owner's manual, which mind you, I will say the owner's manual is great and very detailed. Uh, once we get the board to where it takes shape, which took me about 45 seconds, uh, then we can actually switch over to single action pumping, which takes a lot less effort because the air is only going to go into the board then whenever we put our down stroke with the pump. So at this point, we're going to switch. By turning the yellow selector switch from 2 to 1, we now will go into single action pumping, which will take a lot less effort and allow us to fill the remaining PSI into the board. The recommended PSI for this board is somewhere between 12 and 15 PSI. On the pump, they actually have a green indicator, which helps you visualize when you're in the right amount of PSI. So it took about another minute for two minutes total to inflate the board to full PSI. Here you can see the gauge is in the green. We then can take the pump hose off by turning counterclockwise and hopefully the valve is still up otherwise it would be letting out air. You don't want to push that down else you'll let out your air. You then can put the cap on and turn it clockwise. You can now attach the leash using the velcro and the little eyelet. The paddle easily snaps together and has markings for height adjustments. At this point, the board is ready to hit the water, but I want to quick grab a bottle of water. And what's great is, the body glove handle actually doubles as a bottle holder. Also, the board comes with a waterproof carrying case for your smartphone. If you find that you need any more dry storage, you can pick up a dry bag. They're really cheap. The board only weighs 24 pounds and is easily carried with one hand. The Body Glove board is actually not the only thing that I own made by Body Glove. These Dynamo ribcage shoes are also pretty awesome. Here I attach the leash and I'm ready to hit the water. So I cast it off from the dock and I ended up exploring some of the canals. So prior to this I hadn't been on a whole lot of paddle boards and so I had a high level of skepticism on whether or not I was going to like the board but I quickly fell in love with it. It tracked beautifully and the three fins did a great job of keeping me going straight despite the current and the breeze. Later on, wife actually met up with me and we ended up doing some paddling by a nearby island. So riding tandem was kind of short-lived. The wife decided, well, she wanted to take the board out on her own and she left me swimming with the fishes. Eventually, however, she did come back to pick me up and from there we ended up deciding to do a durability test of the board. The sawhorse test. Whether you weigh 20 pounds or whether you weigh 195 like me, the board's going to remain rigid and it's going to support you. The board is rated for 320 pounds. This triple layer stringer construction is what gives the rigidity and durability. During the test I got a little sidetracked and I started fishing. When you're done using the board, simply open up the valve and push down onto the valve stem. This will release the air and allow you to roll up the board and put it in the bag. 
Another nice feature is, once you've had the board out, it's actually quite easy to get back into the bag with all the gear, because the bag is slightly oversized. It's really hard to believe that such a quality piece of uh, paddle equipment fits into this little backpack. Heck, you could fit it into a smart car. Or on a moped. Heck, I think you could even fit it on a bicycle and transport it. Or take your body glove paddle board on a plane and fly to wherever you want. So adding mounts is actually quite easy on inflatables. That rod holder wasn't there when I got it. I added it. And now I'm going to show you guys how you can add one. So here is the Rail Blaza rib port. It is meant for inflatables. Everything you need comes in the pack and it has very detailed instructions. First determine where you're going to place the mount, then use the scouring pad to clean that area. We then use the alcohol prep pads in order to clean the surface and remove any oily residues. We then take the dual sided VHB adhesive and we apply the white backing section to the mount. Make sure the 3M VHB adhesive makes good contact with the mount. We then use a sharp scissors to cut the excess VHB 3M adhesive. At this point we can remove the second piece of backing paper which will expose the adhesive. We can then apply the mount and press firmly for 45 seconds. They also recommend applying a weight to the top of the rib port for up to 12 hours just to make sure that a good bond is created. Here I'm applying a paddle keeper or what they call a grip. So now whether it be a paddle, a camera mount, or pretty much anything, I have a solution to be able to mount it to the board. I can even swap the rod holders. As always, thank you for watching Kayak DIY. If you want more details on the Body Glove Performer board or any of their other boards, check out the link in the video description below. This will give you a full detailed list of specs, pricing, and everything else you need to know.